Hey, so what is going on everyone? I have another video here to share with all of you on how you can downgrade from iOS 11.0.1 and go back to iOS 10.3.3. I'm on a Windows 10 computer and I'm using the iPhone 7 Plus for this video. If you're on a Mac system or you have a different device like the iPad or something, this should also work for you as well. But right here you can see I did recently upgrade to iOS 11.0.1 and I want to downgrade. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that. So you can go onto your device first and go to settings, go into your account, go to iCloud. You want to scroll down and you want to turn off the feature Find My iPhone. And once you get that turned off, the next thing you want to do is go to this website right here, ipsw.me, and we're going to choose the correct download here. And how you do that is what I do is over here on the left, you just click identify my iOS device. And I'm using the iPhone here, so I'm going to choose iPhone. And then down here, you just punch in the model number. If you guys are wondering where I'm getting the model number from, mine and yours should be on the back of your device as well, like right in there, it'll say the model number. So mine is A1784, so I'm just gonna punch that in. Then I'm gonna click Find My Device and it tells me exactly what it is, iPhone 7 Plus GSM. So I wanna choose Browse All iOS Releases here. You can see 1101's out and we just wanna choose this one right here. So I already did download that and let me show you, it's right here on my desktop. So the next thing you want to do is place your device into DFU mode. So how you do that is you power off your device. You want to make sure you have iTunes opened up again and that you're connected to your device. And then what you want to do is you want to press and hold the power button in for about three seconds and then press and hold the volume down key in for about 10 seconds and continue to hold both of those down. And then what you want to do is release the power button, continue to hold down the volume down key, and we should get a pop-up or you should get a pop-up on your screen exactly like I'm getting right here, iPhone recovery mode with that message and this little pop-up right here. So right now we are in DFU mode and the screen on your device should be black. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click OK. Now what we do here is if you're on a Windows computer, you hold down the shift key and you click restore iPhone and that will allow us to go over to the desktop and select our file. If you're on a, if you're on a Mac system, you hold down the options key and then you can browse. So I'm gonna go ahead and select my IPSW file here, which is 10.3.3 and choose open. And it says iTunes will erase, restore your iPhone to iOS 10.3.3 and will verify with Apple. So I'm going to go ahead and click restore. And up here you can see it is extracting the software. So at this point you just have to sit and wait for 10.3.3 to install onto your device. Okay, so here we are back at the welcome screen and right here you can see iOS 10.3.3. And I have the camera over the serial number because I don't want to share that with everyone. But everything went through perfectly fine for me. And now it says we need you to update to 11.0.1, which I'm not going to do right now. But let me go ahead and start the phone up. All right, everyone. So here we are back on 10.3.3. Here's the old uh, control center. And what I'll do after this video is probably go right back in and update back to 11.0.1. But I'm hoping this was helpful to some of you. If it was, click that like button and share the video. And I'll see you guys next time.